are in a space where things change rapidly and users see things changing, right? Let's say, for example, the boom that happened with uh, ChatGPT, those kind of changes, users see them as final products, but we are actually behind closed doors actually studying some of these things. Some of these things are not done by us and clients actually require us to build software that integrates with this particular powerful tool. What I do personally in terms of upskilling, reading a bunch of uh, blog posts. Every month we actually have a, uh, what do you call it, a newsletter. There you actually get word from our solution architects that actually tells you to say, cool, be on the lookout for this kind of technologies. They actually see a link as well to whatever blog post or article that is valuable or summarizes well that particular concept. Read newsletters, uh, engage in training initiatives that we have, forums. We have a lot of forums from data all the way to Scrum Master, business, so whatever that you're interested in really, you can go through and actually explore with like-minded people. Currently project that I'm working on, you get new stuff coming in like OpenAI. It's actually a buzzword out there where people are jumping into these particular solutions, but our client actually has a particular a use case for this particular technology. So you kind of need to ramp up quickly. It's a new tech stack that you kind of uh, need to work with, understand exactly what the tool is actually doing and incorporate it into the client's uh, needs essentially. Understand that cool, the basics, the principles that you've learned for things like, let's say for example, your normal SQL, they tie in very well when you start writing things like Spark SQL, understanding what Databricks is. They come with the idea of cool, we need a tool that will handle millions and millions of transactions at a particular second. So that space, you actually now start learning different technologies and methodologies. Mm -hmm.